So even on this dark and cloudy day, you can still see just fine into the shed. But I want it to ascend to the next level. So I want to install these lights and be fancy. So a couple issues. One, for to plug in here, I need to either get power all the way to the house or look elsewhere for power. The other thing is you may notice this doesn't really offer much in terms of plugging in. So I found this that I had ordered for a different project and it didn't fit at all. So I'm going to tear it apart and see if I can repurpose it because it's got a nifty little switch and everything. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Yes. Actually, I wonder, huh, do I even need to do any of this? Whatever. Chomp chomp. Expose the wires. Let's play with them. I did some quick Googling, so I'm basically an electrician now, and the blue wire is supposed to go to the white and the brown goes to black. I don't think that's how you normally just cut tape, but you know. Who are you guys, the tape police? But let's just see if it works. Uh, yeah, I'll retape that for sure, because that's a little crazy, but okay, let's see if it works. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. All right, cool. If you go ahead and look up, it's not a great day to be working on a solar setup for the shed, but it'll be ready for when it is sunny. Yeah, this is our solar setup. Neat, it comes in like a briefcase kind of thing. That's fancy. Let's see what, oh, man, I actually feel like James Bond or something right now. This is like really cool. This is for camping usually, but I'm just gonna use it more permanently. It's kind of neat though that I could take this camping and I might. All right, I already had this battery because in the early days of VR, my better camera did not have any battery. So I got this so to have somewhere to plug in. And now it's gonna be repurposed for this. All right, this looks to be the one that fits into my battery. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do this left-handed. All right. All right, unfortunately our next plans get ruined because we don't actually just get to throw the solar panel into fire because that's absolutely what we were gonna do for sure. I look forward to the backyard scientists doing that probably. <laughs> I don't want the cables to be up front because it wouldn't look pretty and I'm sure Guard Santa wouldn't have it. Wow. I put the solar panels up on the low end of the shed so I could access them more easily. I've already gone through and eliminated the gaps in the shed, but I did leave a place for the solar power cables to get through. You know, it's a little dark in here to be doing this. Maybe I should add some light to the shedder. Oh, wait. Huzzah. Or not. Crap. Let's get this out of here. I really pushed it in there. Yeah. Okay. Now you'll notice there's nowhere for this to go. I don't need a big shelf, so I'm going to take this, chop it up, and paint it. This piece is a bit small to be able to use the circular saw, so I have to do it by hand. Sawing these out sucked, but we've got all this ready, so it's time to paint. Then, like a true artiste, I returned to my high-end painting setup of cardboard on the ground and attempted to make the shelf look decent. Alright, now to get this mounted there. Okay, cool. So, should I go ahead and use my stud finder, or, oh wait, everything's wood. Let's get it up there. Alright, I am still not left-handed. Since the battery's gonna be over here, it might make more sense to run the cord in this direction, but I want the switch to be here on the right when you walk in. So I'm gonna do a silly on purpose and wire it down this way and then back up and over. All right, I'm thinking right here will look pretty good. The shelf is pretty much just for the battery and my world's greatest shelf maker trophy, so it really doesn't need to be particularly large. It wouldn't be fun if everything just cooperated. I thought I had plenty of slack, but this is about as far as this is going, and this goes to here. 
I forced the bigger bits in a little further, but I don't actually see what it's snagged on. So hopefully I'll be able to maneuver it all the way to the battery. All right, thank goodness. I was able to get it to go this far. It is a sunny day. I see sunlight hitting the roof and I want to go position the solar panels. I don't know what the heck these little plant caterpillar things are, but I don't like them. Still reachable, but it's in better sunlight now. To round things out, I ran out of staples, but I had these dealies, so I got the cables a bit more out of the way. Oh, look at that. Another dark day. Let's see if I can turn on some lights. Yes, sir. So there you have it. The solar powered shed lights work. I will take off a couple of coolness points because this button needs to be on for this battery to be giving power. But otherwise, the solar charging aspect does work, so that part's pretty cool. Hopefully you enjoyed. Catch you on the next thing.